Chapter 83. I lifted up my hands in righteousness and blessed the holy and the great one. I spoke with the breath of my mouth and with the tongue of flesh, which God has formed for all the sons of mortal men, that was it they may speak, giving them breath, a mouth, and a tongue to converse with. Blessed art thou, O Yahuwah, the King, great and powerful, in thy greatness, God of all the creatures of heaven, King of kings, God of the whole world, whose reign, whose kingdom, and whose majesty endure forever and ever. From generation to generation shall thy dominion exist. All the heavens are thy throne forever, and all the earth thy footstool forever and forever. For thou hast made them, and over all thou reignest. No act whatsoever exceeds thy power with the wisdom is unchangeable. Nor from thy throne and from thy presence is it ever averted. Thou knowest all things, seest and hearest them, nor is anything concealed from thee, for thou perceivest all things. The angels of thy heavens have transgressed, and on mortal flesh shall thy wrath remain until the day of the great judgment. Now then, O Yahuwah, God and mighty King, I entreat thee and beseech thee to grant my prayer that a posterity may be left to me on earth and that the whole human race may not perish, that the earth may not be left destitute and destruction take place forever. O my God, let the race perish from off the earth, which has offended thee, but a righteous and a pride race establish for a posterity forever. Hide not thy face, O God, from the prayer of thy servant. Chapter 84 After this I saw another dream, and explained it all to thee. My son Enoch arose and said to his son Massasela, To thee, my son, will I speak here my word, and incline thine ear to the visionary dream of thy father. Before I married thy mother, Edna, I saw a vision on my bed. And behold, a cow sprung forth from the earth. Afterwards, a female heifer sprung forth, and with it another heifer. One of them was black, and one was red. The black heifer then struck the red one, and pursued it over the earth. From that period, I could see nothing more of the red heifer, but the black one increased in bulk, and a female heifer came with him. After this, I saw that many cows proceeded forth, resembling him, and following after him. The first female young one also went out in the presence of the first cow and saw the red heifer, but found him not. And she lamented with a great lamentation while she was seeking him. Then I looked until that first cow came to her, from which time she became silent and ceased to lament. Afterwards, she calved another white cow and again calved many cows and black heifers. In my sleep, also I perceived a white bull, which in like manner grew and became a large white bull. After him many white cows came forth, resembling him. And they began to calf many other white cows, which resembled them, and followed each other. Chapter 85 Again I looked attentively, one while sleeping, and surveyed heaven above. 
And behold, a single star fell from heaven, which being raised up, ate and fed among those cows. After that I perceived other large and black cows, and behold, all of them changed their stalls and pastures while their young began to lament. One was another. Again I looked in my vision and surveyed heaven, when behold, I saw many stars which descended and projected themselves from heaven to where the first star was. Into the midst of those young ones, while the cows were with them, feeding in the midst of them, I looked at and observed them. When behold, they all acted after the manner of horses and began to approach the young cows, all of whom became pregnant and brought forth elephants, camels, and asses. At these, all the cows were alarmed and terrified. When they began biting with their teeth, swallowing and striking with their horns, they began also to devour the cows. And behold, all the children of the earth trembled, shook with terror at them, and suddenly fled away. Chapter eighty six. Again, I perceived them when they began to strike and to swallow each other, and the earth cried out. Then I raised my eyes a second time towards heaven and saw in a vision that, behold, there came forth from heaven as it were the likeness of white men. One came forth from thence, and three with him. Those three who came forth last seized me by my hand and raising me up from the generations of the earth. Elevated me to a high station. Then they showed me a lofty tower on the earth, while every hill became diminished. And they said, "Remain here until thou perceivest what shall come upon those elephants, camels, and asses, upon the stars, and upon all the cows." Chapter eighty-seven. Then I looked at that. One of the four white men who came forth first, he sees the first star which fell down from heaven, and binding it hand and foot, he cast it into a valley, a valley narrow, deep, stupendous, and gloomy. Then one of them drew his sword and gave it to the elephants, camels. And asses who began to strike each other, and the whole earth shook on account of them. And when I looked in the vision, behold, one of those four angels who came forth, hurled from heaven, collected together and took all the great stars, whose form partly resembled that of horses, and binding them all hand and foot. Cast them into the cavities of the earth.